G'day, I'm Paul VK5 Papa Alpha Sierra and I'm the VKFF coordinator here in Australia. Many of you would know that I've highly recommended the program called Fast Log Entry FLE for some period of time for those people that rapidly want to enter their contacts from the field after using a paper log just like I do to create an ADIF file, an amateur data interchange format file, which you can use not only to upload to your own electronic logging program, but provide to me as an ADIF file to upload to WWFF Log Search. The most recent version of Fast Log Entry, FLE, is version 2.6. And this short video will just show you some of the great features relating to the Worldwide Flora and Fauna program, which are incorporated into FLE version 2.6. Just some of the basics again with FLE. Remember to start your log, you must use the date of the first QSO using the keyword of date. Now date can be in lowercase, it can be in uppercase. In FLE, it is not case sensitive. All keywords, in fact, in FLE are not case sensitive. What does case sensitive mean? It simply means that text sometimes exhibits case sensitivity. And that is that words can differ in meaning based on differing use of uppercase and lowercase. But that's not the case with FLE. So remember, your log must start with the keyword of date. Following that, you must enter the date in the following format, and only this format. Other formats are not acceptable. It must be year, month, day. Year, month, day is the only format which is acceptable for FLE. It follows the aid of specifications. If you didn't want to manually enter the date, you can go to this box here, select the drop down option. In my case, I need to go back to March. Select Friday the 25th, then click on the arrow and you'll see that you have date, the keyword, followed by the year 2016 03 25. So you have two options. You can either manually enter the date yourself or use the drop down box here. Now you need to enter the band and the mode of your first QSO. It can be any band according to, again, the aid of specifications, such as 160 metres. It may be 80 metres. It could be 40 metres. Please do not enter things like 7 megahertz. You'll see that it's highlighted in yellow because it's incorrect. Don't use frequencies. Incorrect. It must be an aid of spec. In this case, 40 meters SSB for me. And again, going back to the basics of fast log entry, all of your QSOs can now be entered. Each QSO must appear on a separate line. First thing to enter here on the new line is the time. Please, it must be UTC time. Please do not send me a file that's recorded in local time. Invest in a, a small clock to go on your operating table or on the moss rock, whatever the case may be. But please record the time in UTC time, not local time. In my case, 0540 UTC. No need to write UTC. 0540 is all that's required. Space. VK5 Hotel Sugar X-Ray and Steph was portable in VK5 so all I need to do is stroke P. If Steph was portable in Victoria I'd need to write stroke 3. Please don't write P3 or P5. This will send the system into a hissy fit. P5, for example, will indicate that Steph was in North Korea. All that's required is stroke P. Now, here's where the beauty of fast log entry version 2.6 comes into play. During my activation of Scott Creek Conservation Park, 
Steph was my very first contact, and he was a park-to-park -park contact. So to record Steph's VKFF reference in my log, I need to use the keyword of WWFF. Then press space, and I type the VKFF reference that Steph was in. In this case, it's VKFF 0890. But please remember to use the keyword WWFF and a space, and then type in the VKF reference that Steph was in or the station that you worked. My next QSO was with Mick, VK3 Papa Mike Golf at 0542. Remember, I only need to enter the change part of the time compared to the previous QSO. So Mick was in the hour of 0500 at 0542. All I need to do is type 42 space VK3 PMG. My next QSO was with Jim, a new line. Remember, each QSO must be on a new line. 0545. Only need to type the change part of the time compared to the previous QSO. 0545 VK5 TR. Next QSO was with Adrian. New line again. 0546. Only need to type 46 VK5 FANA. And you continue on entering your contacts. As you can see, once you've become accustomed to FLE, you can actually enter QSOs quite rapidly. Okay, now I've reached this point and I've then moved to two metres to work Gordon, VK5 Golf Yankee, who was portable in the Bullock Hill Conservation Park. So I need to indicate that this is now not a contact for 40 metres, 2 metres, in this case it was 2 metres SSB. A new line, 0603, we're now in a new hour, so I've needed to record the time as 0603, space, VK5 Golf Yankee, portable. Now Gordon was in a park, so remember to record the park to park, I use the keyword WWFF space VKFF dash 0873. VKFF 0873 is the VKFF reference or the Bullock Hill Conservation Park. On 2 metres SSB, my next contact was with David, VK5KC at 0612. Remember, I only need to change the part of the time compared to the previous QSO. So no need to write 0612 in full. Next QSO was with VK5 AKK on 2 metres SSB. I then moved back to 40 metres, so I need to reflect that in the log. New line, 40 metres SSB, down to a new line, 0626. Contact was with Brian, VK5 FMID. 0629, contact with Don, VK3 Mike Charlie Kilo. Next contact was with Mike, VK5 FVSV at 0631. Now my next contact was another park to park, this time with David, VK5 Papa Lima, portable. David was in the Hale Conservation Park. So to record the park to park, remember keyword WWFF space VKFF-0889. VKFF-0889 is the VKFF reference for the Hale Conservation Park. My next contact was with Colin, VK5 Delta Kilo. 
followed by contact at 0636 with VK3FADM. I then had another park to park contact, this time with Gordon on 40 metres. That was at 0638, VK5 Golf Yankee Portable, the keyword of WWFF, VKFF 0873. The fast log entry supports regular logging, contest logging, and WWFF logging. And by clicking on the options, scrolling down, Make sure you've selected WWFF Logging. Then click on Edit WWFF Reference. This will bring up a little box where you need to enter the VKFF reference of the area that you are activating. In my case, it's VKFF-0788. The Scott Creek Conservation Park. Please don't record the reference says WWFF or WFF0788. Remember, there is no such reference. VKFF0788 is the correct way to record this reference. And then press OK. The WWFF logging option is simply an extension to FLE to support the Worldwide Flora and Fauna in Amateur Radio Program. And in addition to the call, the QSO date, the time on, the band and the mode, requirements for a ADA file to be successfully uploaded to WWFF log search, you also need to record your VKFF reference area. And that's where that option function comes in so handy. I've completed all of the entries in my log including, as you can see, a number of park-to-park -park contacts. It's now time to convert the log over. To get all of the information over from the data grid to the log grid, we simply need to click on Update the Log Grid. You'll see that all of your information then transfers to the log grid area. Prior to doing anything from this point, please vet the document. Ensure that there are no errors. For example, you've left the number 3 out of VK3MCK. Perhaps you haven't formatted the date correctly. You may have an incorrect VKFF reference. You may have left out the dash in the VKFF reference. Now is the time to make any of those amendments. If you have made an error, go over to the left hand screen, make your corrections. Again, Click on the Update Log Grid. Then click on Save the ADA file. Remember that you must save your file in the correct format. Call sign VK5PAS, the at sign. The reference where I was at, VKFF0788. The date, 2016. The month, March, the day 25. Click on Save. And there you have it. You have an ADA file saved on your desktop, which you can now email to me, the VKFF coordinator, for upload to WWFF Log Search. And you can also upload that ADA file to your own electronic log.